Okay, moving over to uh, the Middle Eastern region. Basu, I hear there is quite a lot of political wrangling in Israel. Uh, is Bennett going to survive the vote which is upcoming for the for the dissolution of the House? Thank you, Bargov. So in the EMEA roundup today, we had uh, one assessed event and 20 other developments in the Middle East. As you said, there is an interesting development, which, an, uh, which is in Israel. So uh, the parliamentarians, the Israeli parliamentarians will vote next week to dissolve the parliament. Uh, this actually comes after uh, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett failed to contain the rising pressure on his ruling coalition. So this pressure comes from the uh, several terrorist attacks that happened in Israel over the past few months and the several uh, political, uh, religious and uh, security problems going around uh, in the country between the Palestinians and uh, the Israelis. So uh, uh, the Prime Minister Bennett will be replaced by the current foreign minister, which is Rair uh, Lapid. Uh, he is actually a former journalist and uh, he heads the largest party in the coalition right now. Uh, he, actually, he will serve as an interim prime, prime minister until uh, new elections can be held within the country. So businesses should keep an eye on this situation at, as this uh, may create uh, political and uh, further political and security instability in the country, which may affect business operations. Um, moving over to Africa, uh, in Nigeria, the Supreme Court uh, upheld a sale freeze on Royal Dutch Shell's assets yesterday. This happened after an oil spill uh, in the region in 2019 led to a lower court ruling that barred the sale of uh, Shell's assets in the region. This actually comes uh, after a series of oil spills that happened in the region where uh, the oil operators, the foreign oil operators were accused uh, of it. However, 88 communities in the river states were awarded uh, 1.95 billion in compensation for the oil spill. Uh, the assessed event today was in Europe. In Europe, we had around uh, 10 developments. Uh, flight dis disruptions continue across Europe. Uh, local and international flights across Belgium and the UK uh, were halted yesterday due to several uh, problems. The first is the strike action, and the second is the technical difficulties that's happening with baggage reclaims and uh, um, and uh, the staff at the airport. Uh, this is all from the EMEA today. Thank you. Thank you, Vossel, for the coverage. That's a wrap from us. Thank you very much for joining us today. To know more about our services, please contact us at info at apacassistance.com. Thank you.